Are you struggling to make the hours you put into your real estate business worth the money that you're making? You know, oftentimes the traditional approach to real estate leaves agents unfulfilled financially and in their careers. And today I want to teach you how to become an absolute productivity warrior, especially given the shifting market. I'm Lars Hedenborg, co-founder of Real Estate Game Changers. And there are three things that if you pay attention to and you start looking at and focusing on and doing today, it will change everything for you. It will change the game of real estate. So let's talk about them. Number one is to know your worth. There's a very simple calculation I did the, the early days when I got into real estate. And it's this, it's taking the, the amount of money you take home. So you're, I just use my adjusted gross income for my tax returns. And I divide that by the hours that I work. So for example, let's say you took home $250,000 pre-tax after expenses and you worked 50 hours a week uh, times 50 weeks is 2,500 hours, that would be $250,000 divided by 2,500 hours is $100 per hour. Let's say you're only taking home $100,000 in real estate and you're working, you know, the same amount of hours. So 100,000 divided by 20, 2,500 hours, that would be $40 an hour. So that's the first calculation you make. What is your, we call this the business freedom index. What's that number for you right now? And then what do you want it to be? When I first did this calculation back in 2007, so it was early 2008 coming off of my 2007 production, the hourly rate that I was able to make was $18.50 an hour. And I decided in that moment that I was not gonna do that anymore. And I was going to make $500,000 take home working 40 hours a week, which is a 2,000 hour work year. So 500,000 divided by 2,000, $250 per hour. And then I looked at everything I was doing in my business and I was very, like, holy cow, I'm at t less than $20 an hour now and I wanna get to $250 an hour. It just allows you to look at your business differently. And that is what I want for you, to look at your business differently. The second point that I wanna talk about today is this fact that there is freedom in structure. So often, real estate agents uh, think that they have all this freedom you know, which on the one hand is true. You know, I'm able to take an amount of uh, vacation and I can do what I want because I have the fi financial means to do it, but it's only because I have massive structure in my life. And, you know, when I'm on, you know, my calendar tells me what to do all the time. Like there's no guesswork, you know, what do I do on this day or that day? Uh, because my calendar dictates what I do. And there's only five things. So freedom and structure, there are five things that will make you a massive amount of money in real estate. And I'm gonna go through them real quick. And it's P-L-A-N-S. P is for prospecting. I like the word new business development, but it didn't fit the acronym. So it's prospecting, lead follow-up, appointments with new buyers and sellers, negotiating those buyers and sellers under contract, and then building systems in your business. So if you're not spending you know, the majority, I mean 80% of your time in those dollar productive activities, which is prospecting, lead follow-up, appointments, uh, negotiating contracts, and building systems, you're not in the game of making a ton of money in real estate. And so that's the second point. The third point is uh, I want you to be productive versus just busy. Now this is uh, really gonna hurt some of you. And, and I am not preaching here. I go into ruts in my business where I'm busy and I get a lot done, but I'm not massively productive. There's a definition of productivity. I'm gonna butcher it a little bit by Dan Kennedy, but essentially uh, it's productivity is the deliberate and strategic investment of time, resources, energy, talents into activities that bring you closer to um, achieving goals that really matter for you. Essentially, that's the definition. So if you were to grade yourself on a scale of one to five every day against you know, a deliberate and strategic investment of your time, energy, resources, and talents, in a way that moves you meaningfully closer to uh, goals that matter to you, how would you grade yourself? And then just be really honest with yourself. 
you know, are you investing your time in the right things? You know, are you prospecting? Are you following up with leads? Are you, you know, focused on the front stage activities in your business? Or are you essentially running errands all day long? You know, we run errands, you know, professionally and personally as real estate agents, we jump in our car and we're like off to drop off a sign or pick up a check or meet an inspector or attend a closing or show a home. And when you think about the amount of money that you make doing those activities, yes, they're important activities. Yes, they have to get done. But I promise you're not achieving your financial goals if you're doing uh, those activities for the majority of your day. So this does take a little bit of just be honest with yourself about where you're spending your time. So if you're struggling to make the kind of money that you want to make in real estate, commit to becoming a product a product, <laughs> a productivity warrior. And that's the message I have for you today. Take it one step at a time. And if you really want to change the game in your real estate business, stay tuned for more videos and take action. There's some things you can do in the description below and we'll see you in the next video. Be good.